James Banks here for Definitive Esports and I'm here with Liquid TLO at the ESA UK Masters. Once again, he's back in the UK. How are you? I'm really good. I'm happy. Had a good day. Yeah. <laughs> a very good day. So 5-0 in the groups, impressive play and you had such a tough group as well. Um, we were just speaking before and you said you felt confident going into it. Do you think that is like one of the main reasons why you're just you're in a, a good place at the moment which has helped you? Well, I was confident for a reason because I was training really hard and my training is going really well. So it's there's some synergy between feeling good and training good. So it all came together basically. Now, one thing I have to ask is the beard is back again. <laughs> now, is this until you win a championship again or are you just growing the beard out? No, it's just, uh, you know, for some reason I like changing my hair a lot <laughs> when it comes to like both beard and head. It's just what I do apparently. <laughs> So it's not a championship this time, that's fine. But it might work this time, you can shave it off when you win this. Yeah, well, <laughs> I definitely gonna uh, trim it a little bit before trim hike, so it's not gonna stay like that all the time. Keep it, keep it funky, keep it fresh, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, so, 4GG, we've just found he's out, snoots all the way through. Um, kind of a big upset, and obviously it's beneficial for you for 4GG not being in. Are you kind of worried about Crank and Sting still being in it? Or are you in a place where you just think you're going to play your game and moving forward you're going to go and win the whole thing? Yeah, I, I don't really worry so much about any opponent at the moment. I think it doesn't really help me play better, so there's no reason to do it. I beat Sting in my group, so why couldn't I beat him again? And Snood and I were analyzing Crank's playstyle together earlier today and we are pretty confident that both of us can beat him as well. So you're at the ESET UK Masters again, this time it's I-48. What are the differences compared to last time for you and how are you enjoying it? Well, I like it more this time because I have two teammates here and there's lots of my friends actually here uh, at the event too. Uh, my coach as well, he was here last time but he didn't come in until I was already out of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so um, things are going well. The price pool has improved which I'm happy yeah. about as well. <laughs> Only the weather is even sh yeah, <laughs> more shit than last time, yeah. <laughs> Um, so with your teammates here, you're saying analyzing Crank's demo, is that something you guys do regularly at most events where you're together as Team Liquid players? And um, how much does that help you going into a game preparing? Yeah, especially Snood, he's very proactive about uh, watching replays and analyzing styles, so it's always very good to talk to him. Um, he's much more into watching replays than I am at the moment, which is something I still need to improve upon a lot. Uh, so yeah, it's good. Snood is like... Um, He's like a treasure box of, of knowledge when it comes to how to play against each player. So I'm very happy he is here. And now all Liquid players are here, all Zergs. Kind of a bit of help there, I'm sure, as well. Um, now, do you find that Snoots joined? It's kind of a new lease of life into the European side of Team Liquid for you guys. And um, are you, you mean enjoying your time spending with him? Do you play a lot of practice together online and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Snoot being on the team has helped us a lot. Um, our Cirque trio is doing pretty well in Europe. I think all of us are, you know, Snoot is really a hard worker and like Red started working hard now too, which is unusual, but uh, we hope <laughs> that he keeps it up. And I'm training a lot, so I think we are pushing each other a lot. And because we are all Cirque, we can all learn from each other. And uh, I guess each of us wants to be the best player in Europe of Liquid. Mm -hmm. So that helps a lot to, you know, train and Stay, yeah. So, Heart of the Swarm, what are your thoughts on it overall? People have been talking about Zerg being underpowered. Um, a lot of talk I hear at the moment is it's not really about balance, it's more down to just understanding the game better and giving it some time. What are your thoughts on it and you feeling pretty confident as a Zerg player at the moment? I'm just enjoying the game much, much more than Heart of uh, Wings of Liberty. I refuse basically almost to play Brood Lord and Fester, which didn't help me win stuff. <laughs> so, Heart of the Swarm is, you know, falling into my hands and I think I'm gonna, you know, the game suits my playstyle more. I don't really know about balance, nobody really knows at the moment and I think it's smart by Blizzard to be waiting yeah. at the moment. Um, so I think maybe Widow Mines might be a little bit too strong, especially if it gets figured out more how to use it properly. Yeah. Right now we have mostly marine uh, and like pure bio with Widow Mines style, if people start using bio tank with mines, I think it's going to be much more efficient and then it might become an issue. Uh, but at the moment I'm just really happy to play a new and fresh game that is much more exciting than what we had at the end of Wings of Liberty. So Team Liquid's still very active in Korea. Um, you haven't been back for a while. Any plans at all for the future, maybe going out there doing anything else? 
I'd I'd be really happy to go go for like a month or two, mm -hmm. um, not a long period like the last times because I realized at some point I just get a little bit sick of it. Korea is really nice and I enjoy it, but not being able to be completely independent, relying on other Koreans to translate for you, and not you know not being able to speak to everybody in the country is really difficult for me and. Also, um, missing lots of things at home when I'm in Korea. So I, I'd love to train every year in Korea for like a limited period of time. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can work something out in the future. But as of now, nothing is planned, basically. Now, I think you're one of the best people to ask this next question to. Um, with all the Koreans coming over from the Casper side, it's getting a lot more like competition heavy. Do you think there is becoming to be a larger gap between the foreigners and the Koreans? Or do you still think it's pretty close? Oh yeah, I think the gap is going to become bigger unless people in Europe step it up more. Um, we need more people who dedicate all their heart and in, into training. Um, I mean, we have a bunch of guys who are like really, really sick and really good and train hard. But the problem is in Korea, you have such a big pool of people training very hard and probably to some extent also smaller than the European players. So it just comes down to a pool of people that put all their energy into the game that needs to be increased in Europe and America. And do you think we'll, we'll see that happen in the Europe side? Have you got any hope for that? Or do you think the Koreans are just going to get further and further away? I mean, it's going to happen eventually, basically. Esport is becoming bigger and the price money is rising. In general, the amount of money you can make in Esport is becoming bigger and the business is becoming more serious. So I think it's going to be a natural development for people to be more professional in their training, more professional um, you know, we're going to have more professional management and better teams to take care of their players to be able to keep up and become the best teams. Now that actually leads well onto my question about management there. So Team Liquid kind of has the, the best staple of players with when they leave it's always on good terms and you're very happy players all the time. What, are they, what is it about Team Liquid that makes it so special and their, their management style? Well, when you're a player on Team Liquid it doesn't feel like you're part of a hierarchy. Um, even though obviously NASCAR is our boss and uh, we have managers and stuff, you never feel that way basically. NASCAR is like friends with everybody, he's just one of the guys, yeah. even though he has a lot of authority at the same time, but it's on a very, it's on very friendly terms. Mm -hmm. Like he's never gonna go to you and say, do this now or like you're gonna feel the con consequences. So he always tries to find like a friendly, positive way to like do things and figure stuff out together with players, rather than you know being the guy on the top who tells people how to do and how to live their lives. Now there's a question that I saw on the Team Liquid forums, and I don't think it was ever answered. It was just from a, a random fan, and he was saying from the Liquid Rising documentary, they were very interested in your character. Will we maybe see a, a, a Liquid TLO documentary style thing done? I don't know, maybe someday, but I don't think I deserve the attention for now. Maybe if I win a tournament, after that we can look more into that and I can show you what's going on in the life of TLO, but uh, I should be mostly focusing on actually delivering the results <laughs> first. <laughs> so, results are more focused on this tournament. Yeah. Who are you particularly interested in facing in this tournament who's left in, and um, who would you maybe want to avoid? I'd love to play Crank because um, I beat one Korean, why not two? <laughs> <laughs> and any players you don't want to face? Well, teammates, pretty uh, pretty yeah. obvious. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, TLO. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. I do hope to see you continue on further with your teammates mm. and then we can catch up for more for a further talk down the line. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. It's been James Banks here for Definitive Esports. He's been TLO. Yes, signing off once again. Continue to check out the rest of our coverage at d-esports.com and I'm sure we'll have some more interviews with the other Team Liquid guys very soon.